So, now, you are here in Toronto, Canada. You believe in yourself, and this is the right program for you. Why? Number one, I, I actually did my MBA in Toronto years ago. Now, why Toronto, Canada is the ideal place for studying international business? Okay, I can give you a few reasons. First of all, Toronto is a global financial center, a top 10 financial center of the world. In North America, we are just next to New York. Number two, Toronto is such a dynamic city, such a multicultural city. You get to know people from different parts of the world. So it's the best place to get to know your future business partners and your future colleagues who will work with you. And you learn how to be an international business person, a professional, through the process. And number three, because IBU. You believe in IBU. Now, IBU is such a young, dynamic, new university. Or I say young, however, it's one of the most innovative institutions, I would say, in delivering business education. It's the way how we design our MBA and BCom program. So when we design our program, we talk to the industry executive. We talk to the business professors. And we talk to other stakeholders. And we have a program advisory board who are senior executives from different industries. So when we design our program, like MBA program, you get to learn the latest business knowledge, like business analytics, how to make better decisions using the data, social media, how to learn how to promote your, your business, your products and services through social media. And then we have a subject called digital transformation. Now these days, all enterprises, they're going through the digital transformation, even more so after COVID-19. So how do they go about doing that and becoming successful again, right? And, and then we have subjects like ESG and sustainability, right? ESG and sustainability is such an important uh, uh, topic for the business executives. They learn how to be more engaged with the, social, the society the, and the environment and also all the stakeholders. So, so these topics are, are quite unique together in our program. So your commitment, however, is also so important. We talk about innovation. But innovation does take a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment, right? Innovation doesn't take place just a few, over a few days or a few hours. It, go, it has to go through a whole process. Right? How, how do we design the business process? How to manage your time effectively? How to think about new solutions, new business models? Right? And, and these are the potential for the future. So we want to prepare you for the future career, not only the current opportunities. Right? Some of you want to be you know, uh, uh, doing your own business, starting your own business. And we have subject on entrepreneurship. So how do you develop your business plan? And how do you go about researching about the future possibilities through your capstone project in the final semester? Right? So your commitment and your dedication to studying in our program is so important. So manage your time carefully and wisely. Think about this, you, for MBA program, it's, it's only 16 months of commitment. And then you, you have to enter the business world looking for a job, ensuring that you, you are going to get a good job, right? So you need to be well prepared. Build your competence through these 16 months. And BCom students as well. Well, BCom is an undergraduate program, uh, and also integrating a lot of interesting topics, including like project management, information system management, topics like these are so important, as well as analytics. So my advice to you is, yeah, spend your time wisely, talk to the professor, ask questions, participate in all the in-person sessions. We have the world-class materials integrated into, into the curriculum. So we have like cases from uh, Ivy Business School, Harvard Business School, Wharton Interactive. Uh, we have like online materials, and you need to spend time to learn about these materials and interact with your classmate. Get to know your classmate. They will be your friends, your business associate, 
in the future. And they come from different parts of the world, like, like yourself, right? Isn't it exciting? So, so I, I really enjoy you know, doing my MBA in Toronto for the fact like you learn about the industry here, you learn about the people here, you learn about the culture here, uh, you learn about the Canadian experience, right? These are so important. Okay, o open your mind. Be humble about the process. You, you'll find your future here. All right? So, however, one more thing is Chris mentioned about academic integrity. This is also important. Why is it important? Well, we want to make sure you do your own work. Why? In the future, you, when you start your business, you will think about your business idea, right? What's so unique about your business? You cannot just duplicate other, other business model and, and think you know, you're going to be successful like, like, like the other companies. But the world's changing so fast. You need to be more innovative, inno innovative uh, uh, more distinct beyond the traditional business model. How you do that, you think about AI. AI will just tell you part of the story. How do you leverage on AI and de develop something more distinct? And be honest about the process. Declare what you have used in your research, okay? And so AI is changing the world so fast, and so, uh, you know, uh, pro profound in, in a way that the human intelligence still be an important part of the process, but you need to learn how to do that, how to be a person who can do something beyond what AI can tell you to do. So the thing is that we want you to be a, a honest professional, work in the, the business world, your employers will expect you to be the same, to be honest, to, to have good integrity, all right? So my advice to you, be innovative, but at the same time be honest, okay, in the whole process.